Hello everyone and welcome back or welcome to the weekend video. A uh, rather short video because I had a lot to do about the uh, over the weekend and in general over the last few days. So what I'm currently working on is a work in progress. Yeah, what I'm working on is work in progress, obviously. Um, no, it's a side project that uh, someone asked of me. Specifically, you might remember that I made a tentacle quite some time around ago and the thing was uh, lovely dubbed the pool noodle and we had a bit of fun with it every now and then in different things and someone uh, asked me if I can make a very specific creature that involves tentacles as well so this is what I am currently working on. The uh, work in progress means I'm not finished. Um, I started working on it, but in the end the there was a bit of a problem, which you will see. Um, basically the model is unusable to the point that when I try to work on it, uh, the hexagon just completely crashes, even with um, re yeah, restarting the whole uh, PC and seeing if it is still works so yeah no it isn't working anymore i have to restart the whole thing which is okay because uh, i didn't really do that much on it but um this was supposed to be the thing for the weekend and i am not able to finish it in time so yeah this sometimes happens um he gave me a very precise and interesting idea to work on Namely, even this amazing piece of art. This is the whole idea that I'm uh, basically going on a big blob with googly eyes and four of the tentacles that we have seen before. So this is what I'm currently trying to create and work on. So yeah, my base idea was to grab a sphere, shape it down to what you see, like, like an acorn thingy oval egg-like shape, I don't know, uh, a bit squishy, uh, squished, and then extrude four tentacles. So far so good, that worked, everything is good. I then subdivided the tentacles for to create the, the uh, uh, suction cups. Later on this was basically the idea for the suction cups. And yeah, this was the first issue. So next time I will do this, so somewhere around this week, um, when, I will re when I will work on it again, what I will do is instead of cutting the whole extruded tentacle thingies up later, I will make sure to make the proper amount of uh, faces beforehand and then yeah, make the whole thing in a size that works. Uh, the simple idea is that I need more faces for the suction cups so they don't like stick to each other in the middle. Uh, I also don't want to strongly subdivide the whole thing so it doesn't get too much faces and it gets too intense to, with too many faces so that it's actually loadable. Yeah, subdivided. Um, I had to subdivide each of the leg pairs separately um, because I can only do symmetry in one area. I cannot like uh, do a cross symmetry of X and Z axis. Can only do one, so I basically chose X axis and then worked on the whole leg thing twice. And one of the issues that came up in the end, basically, the crashes are here. I blurred out my desktop, but uh, overall, yeah, you will see basically the, the, the final crashes that happened. Mm. Yeah, uh, next thing after I, after I did the uh, first division, I, I wanted to subdivide the legs so that I actually have more areas and, and can subsequently do more suction cups um, basically just subdivide the whole thing a bit to have the amount of detail that I want I basically decided I'm going to 
change the shape a little bit. I'm um, something I will also do next time beforehand, extrude a few faces before I go in the uh, tentacle extrusion, the leg extrusion part. Um, yeah. I grabbed one of the legs and basically just resized it to um, yeah, make the whole thing a bit more um, not realistic but, but um, sensible to have it work better later with other uh, idea combinations and yeah so far everything works quite well um, was my usual flow and then I decided I'm going to pull out that like change the round base shape of the whole thing a bit um, make it more um, a bit more organic like right now it looks very uh, technical like could be a robot or something but not, not really a living creature I also yeah made a bit uh, worked a bit on the lower side of the legs just to um, work on the whole uh, shape in, in all but yeah one of my ideas was to give this creature a mouth and this is where actually the whole pain started um, yeah the shape I changed the, the the top shape a bit made it more egg like so that it looks a bit more realistic and I and actually wanted more space for all the things that I uh, worked on yeah, next I, I basically just grabbed the legs because I wanted to move them out a tiny bit. Um, yeah, this is basically really just that. And you can see that I'm just making them a bit bigger, which would pull them out. But uh, honestly, extruding the, the thing to the side would probably have been or have worked better. Uh, but it doesn't matter because the whole ways the whole thing is broken anyway so yeah i'm gonna i gotta restart at some point which will yeah be next week yeah after uh, doing the whole resizing thing i then decided i wanted to go for the first detail on the thing i wanted to give it a mouth and this is basically where everything broke because I, I used the I used the the symmetry uh, um, to just give it a rough mouth like shape here, and then I decided I'm going to sp uh, to, to differentiate to to um, split split open different uh, differentiate the the uh, dissociate the sides, and this was basically when the first crash happened. So I just decided to restart hexagon we open it was basically just before cutting open the thing and this is where the actual mistake happened because I decided okay I'm going to uh, cut this up uh, maybe this works better and at this point I saved cut it open tried to grab it and it crashed again and the same thing kept happening after a restart. Basically, as soon as I try to interact with the model, it does not work, it breaks. So yeah, I have to restart on this, um, but this happens. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys hopefully in the next one when this is hopefully working. Until then, stay healthy, stay safe, and I will see you guys around.